Okay, so this is my fret cutting setup. I've got this little table saw that I bought specifically for cutting frets. It's got the Stumac blade on it, the 23 thousandths circular saw blade. And uh, this is the jig that I've made. And how this works, if you can look right down here, I'm going to move this. There's a little pin right there. And that locates using a template right here. So when you use this, you set it up, and if you're going to do a zero fret, if you want, if you want to use a nut, you can set it. I usually bring the saw blade up and run the uh, fretboard right up against it, and then go ahead and set my jig. Or if I'm going to use a zero fret. I move it up to wherever I want the zero fret and it's kind of hard to do this and I use double stick tape and stick it down sorry about the video quality here okay, so you stick it down and I've got the fret I've got it marked there's the nut first fret second fret the yellow dots I have marked for diatonic this is actually a 25 inch scale so you have your blade set wherever you want your depth and then run it through bring it back move it to the next slot run it through bring it back move to the next slot and so on once you have the template made, it's just a matter of uh, turning them out. So I'm going to show you how I make the templates for these. Okay, so back here at the fretting jig, um, one of the things I wanted to share also, um, when, you, when you put your pin um, in your fence, and I actually use, this is an auxiliary fence here. Um, this is actually the fence that's, that's uh, glued and, and screwed to the to the jig itself so I can I can take this fence off and change it out uh, sometimes I make um, the music stick the little stick dulcimers which have a really thick um, neck and I just saw it right in the neck so this this actually wouldn't work because the pins located too low so I can make another I can make another auxiliary fence with a higher pin and move it up um, that way you know, I, I have a lot more versatility with this jig. The other thing is, with a quarter inch, and that's why I like to use the quarter inch plexiglass. You actually have there's quite a bit of quite a bit of room here. You can you can move up and down, um, so you can do various thicknesses. Um, I've done things as thin as a yardstick, and you could go probably almost three eighths of an inch thick um, without having to move the auxiliary fence on this. Okay, so here's the jig that I'm going to use to cut the template to cut the frets. Uh, the template is made out of plexiglass. I like to use quarter inch plexiglass. And um, you want to make sure uh, this is just a four foot piece of straight pine, one by four. And I use two miter gauges just because I had an extra one and I figured it would be a little more stable. Um, you want to make sure it's absolutely square to the blade and there's a piece of plexiglass right here I've already got a template cut on one side the blade that I'm using is just uh, just a cheap skill saw blade and uh, it cuts a little narrower kerf and uh, a 41 um, wire gauge drill bit fits perfectly in these slots that this blade cuts. So I'm going to go around to the other side here and show you what we've got. Okay, so this is it from the other side and I've got my uh, paper template on here. I'm going to use the piece of plexiglass. I'm going to line it up with each mark and I'm going to make a saw cut which is going to just do a notch in the template just like you saw those notches will go on my fretting jig and locate on the pin that's in the fretting jig.
when you cut these, you want to make absolutely sure it's as accurate as you can get it because every fret you or every uh, fretboard you cut after this using this template um, will just be as good as whatever the template you made. So you want to make sure it's it's good, it's accurate. So there it is. That's all there is to it. Cut the slots. I've got it marked 24 inch scale with the nut and then each fret corresponding. So that's all there is. Now you can also do these. You don't have to just do them in plexiglass if you don't want. You can also do them in aluminum like I've done here. Works just as well. So, anyway, thanks.